Hello, welcome back to another topic video. This one, is, I'm calling this one, and this one's been obvious. I, I told my friend Tivia basically that I'm just going to do this. It is what happened during the eight month jump. What has and has not been explained so far. That's the top. That's the title for this one. Now, <clears throat> they're having some things that have been explained. Very little, mind you. And there's a bunch of things that have not been explained. Let's start with the stuff that has been explained, or at least shown. Gwenpool makes her first appearance during the three during the eight month jump. It's explained in, in the how in the backup feature from Power to Duck. The the most recent volume of the series ended. Um and the fact that the free part was reprinted as a as Gwen, unbelievable Gwenpool number zero. Okay, uh, Peter meets Miles. Well, in this continuity, anyways. Let's see what else has been explained. Well, some stuff of the X Men has been explained. Okay, um, what else? Let me think. Hmm. Oh yes, Human Torch and uh, Medusa's relationship. Charles Cho. Uh, for issues eight and nine of the current uh, of the series on Candy Humans, he took a break from the actual story to actually have explanation of how this relationship between these two actually started, uh, how the Ultimates came about. That was actually quite interesting how that came about, and it was explaining a civil war to tie in. Yeah. So that that's another thing that's, that that has been explained so far. Let me think. What else has been explained so far? That that actually happened, or at least shown to happen during an eight-month jump. Let's see. Hmm. Let me think. Nothing much else I can think of. But there has been a bunch of stuff that still, one year later, still, Marvel has not explained these particular things. Or at least shown these things. The two most obvious ones is uh, Tony Stark turning uh, from evil to good. That has still, one year later, still not been explained. Or how the heck did Daredevil's identity become secret again and how to get his law license back. Yeah, those two things in particular related to Daredevil. That has still not been explained. Maybe show is going to explain uh, that after this current arc wraps up. That's just a possibility. Okay, yeah, that, that's a possibility. As for Bendis explaining how the heck Tony Stark turned for evil back to good, I don't think that's going to happen now because, okay, he killed off Tony. Yeah, because he killed off Tony. So, yeah, I'm just adjusting my webcam. Because, yes, because the fact that he... Because Tony apparently is going to die during Civil War II. He probably is not going to be allowed to explain that. Because that is one of people's biggest questions. People have been asking Marvel for the past year. How the heck did Tony Stark turn from evil back to good? Answer? Nothing. There has been zero answers explained of how the heck that happened. Let's see. What else has not been explicitly shown? Let's see. Um, aside from those two. Let's see. What else? Oh, yes. Uh, Sam cleaning out the Hydra stuff from uh, all the other... Uh, all the... Uh, out of S.H.I.E.L.D. and all the other agencies. Yeah, this was set up at the end of all new Captain America. And then it's like, okay, everything is free now. It's like, what? What happened? What happened? That has not been explained yet. Um, and speaking of Sam Wilson, there's another thing that's not been explained yet for the Unity Squad of why Sam Wilson, the Vision, Scarlet Witch, uh, and why, uh, Sabretooth are, are off the Unity Squad roster. Yeah, that has n still not been explained yet. Maybe, may maybe Doug is going to explain it. Um... But that obviously has not been explored yet for some reason. And it was referenced in Deadpool that apparently Sabretooth would take out of the mansion. As for what he did, never explained. 
at all. I do have a couple possible theories that, one, he got drunk like how sometimes Wolverine gets drunk and he accidentally touched Rogue. That's just a possibility. That happened with Armadillo in uh, the Texas Rangers. Uh, or at least the Rangers, that's what they call themselves. Another theory is the possibility, because he's good now, maybe the whole inversion was kind of slipping and he may have indirectly turned back into being uh, the killer he once was and he may have tried to kill Rogue. That could have been another reason why it kicked out of the mansion. Yeah, that's still not been explained yet. Let's see, what else has not been explicitly shown? Let's see, how Parker Industries got to be a global... Uh, a global company. I keep thinking, though, maybe in an annual they might explain this. This would be perfect for an annual, and yet the annual that's coming out for me as an experiment this volume, anyways, is a tie-in to Clone Conspiracy, I think. Yeah, it's it's a tie-in. Okay. Um, is there anything else? Now, there's nothing really much to explain with Spider-Man 2089, because it is referenced that uh, he and Tempest, uh, the pink hair lady who he met, uh, in the previous line of the series, have been kind of relationship. Okay. Uh, there's kind of some hinting of that. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Peter David just take time out to do an annual to actually kind of show that relationship. That would have been nice. Um, she hasn't brought on that much in this point, but I'm kind of glad that she's actually still there around. Let's see. But that's not really a big problem with me. Let's see. But is there anything else that's still not been explained yet? Let me think. Um, well, let me think. Is there anything else that's not been explained yet? <sighs> Top of my head. Oh, yeah, apparently Tony, uh, uh, when, okay, here's the question. I don't think anybody's asked yet. When did Tony sell the mansion again? Yeah, this would be like the second time he sold the mansion. Because the first time he sold it, he sold it to Luke Cage for a dollar. And this happened uh, two volumes before the current volume of New Avengers, just to have his own team. So he basically purchased the mansion for a dollar. And then Luke Cage sold it back to him for a dollar. Okay, so uh, when the heck did this happen? And I still question of why in the world is it that um, that the Avengers Mansion is turned to a sleazy hotel. I don't get why this was even happened in the first place. I mean, I get the fact he, I, I get the reason why he sold it because he, because he, because his company was having trouble to compete with Parker Industries, so he had to sell Avengers Tower, a key thing for Avengers history for years. I mean, instead of selling it to I don't know Peter, he sold it to some douchebag who, as far as I know, has never been seen again. I'm hoping he comes back. Maybe the explanation of who the heck this guy is, because he's only shown for three issues of all the different Avengers, and as far as I know, he has shown up since then. But let me think. Is there anything else that has not been explained yet? Uh, let me think. Well, I get why Pepper is not talking to Tony anymore, because what happened is Superior Spider-Man. Okay, fine. Superior Spider-Man, okay. That I get. Um, ooh, there is one question. What the heck was Rhodey up to during the 8 month show? Yeah, that apparently has not been explained. Another thing that's not been explained, when the heck did the Alpha Flight program start? Yeah, when did the space station get built? When was Carol Danvers hired to actually be? Um, let's see here. There we go, that's better. Uh, when was Carol Danvers actually hired to be... Um, okay, that should be better now. Um, when was she hired to actually be the commander of this space station and be in charge of the Alpha Flight program? And where the heck is the other half of Alpha Flight? Because you got three people from Alpha Flight. You have uh, Sasquatch, Amore, and Puck. As for the rest of the team, no mention of them at all. There's no mention of they're dead. Nothing. Uh, let's see. What else has not been explained yet? Let me think. Um, let's see. They kind of have explored how Black Panther got back his throne. Okay, they have explored that. Let me think. Is there anything else not explored yet? Well, Steve, there's no mystery with him, so there's nothing with him. Let me think. 
Hmm. Anything else happened during the eight months that I still not explained yet? Hmm. Let me think. Oh, uh, where the heck did Crystal get that uh, flying vehicle that she had in the all-new human series that she has? Um, where she got that, that has never been explained. I mean, yeah, it first showed up in all-new in humans, number one. I get that. But as for where she got it, that has never been explained. It's just thing that shows a complete heck. Even in um, Death of X, she still has it. And I'm still questioning, when the heck did she get that thing? Because, like, who built it? Who gave it to her? And it's like things related to that has not been explained. I mean, the only thing related to the humans that's actually explained is the relation between Johnny Storm and Medusa. That's the only thing that's been explored so far. I'm glad the fact Schultz did that, but I kind of wish before Only Humans ended that they would have at least explored the origin of that ship that they fly on the whole series. But I think it's cancellation how kind of that, but that's one thing that was never explained. But I kind of wish that uh, the series kind of continued as a backup feature for Uncanny Humans. Still a possibility. Uh, what else is not going to explain? Ooh, here's a really kind of big one. No one talks about this. When the heck did Karnak become the Minister of Wisdom? Uh, and when the heck did he get this tower that he is apparently in charge of? When the heck did that come about? Because prior to uh, all, prior to him getting that tower, he was just normal Karnak. Heck, he was still dressed in the Jack Kirby look. He had looked that way since the 60s. And now he looks completely different. Also, there is one thing about Karnak I should bring up that's still not been explained yet. Heck, this could probably be the reason why this series got cancelled. Uh, the delays. As far as I know, the delays have never been explained. It was the only, it was, it was like the only title that's never been um, explained of why the delays happened for in the first place. Let's see. Any other, any other explanations? Let me think. Well... They have good explanation where Reed and Sue are. They're up in Battle World. Apparently recreated multiverse. Okay. But they haven't shown since then. Let me think. What else? Hmm. Oh, there is one big thing they have not explained yet. And 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 it's Spider Woman. Who is the father of the baby? And when the heck did she get pregnant? Because at the end of the previous slide before this current one, she was perfectly fine. I mean, she wasn't pregnant. She was still smoking hot, though. But, and then all of a sudden, we, we were seeing promotions of that she's pregnant. I'm like, when the heck did that happen? And then she gets birth to her son, Gary. Fine. Um, but as far as I know, um, her, her, um, Father, it is that has never been explored of who the heck the father is. Yeah, uh, that that is a question that actually has not been answered yet. Who the heck the father is? I think with some possibilities, like maybe it was Hawkeye. Hawkeye is a distinct possibility. Uh, Porcupine is a good theory because well. Porcupine is obviously kind of in love with her, but I highly doubt he would father another child because he already has he already has one already that he has to take care of. So I highly doubt he's the father of of Gary Drew. So I highly doubt that. So the only ones that kind of make sense to be the father of the child is either Hawkeye, and this is before the whole thing with the Hulk. Oh yeah, and that's another thing that has been explained of what what's going on with the Hulk. Yeah, that has been explained. Great Pock has explained that very well. And and he even detailed it in the letters column that he was going to explain this. Unlike other writers, who wouldn't bother to explain the, the changes to the books. Let's see, what else? Oh, there's no change on that explaining it. Um, when did Deadpool hire the Mercs money in the first place? When the heck did that happen? Because if you look at the start of the current volume of Deadpool... I mean, you have the Mercs money, which at the time consisted of Terror Inc., uh, Stingray, Solo, uh, Madcap before he left and went up someplace else. Uh, it was it was a pretty decent line. I'm like, when the heck did he have time to start his own team? 
Of course, most of them since left. Um, hmm. Anything else has not been explained? Um, let me think. Hmm. I'm trying to think, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, when the heck did the uh, previous Team Avengers disband? When the heck did that happen? Also, when did... Uh, and this is something that's not been explained yet. Uh, when did the AIM Avengers first assemble? Because... Our ordering has not explained that yet, or how the, the, the current roster was conceived. At least he explained the Ultimates, but I don't know why he hasn't explained the new Avengers yet. Yeah, that is something that's completely up in the air right now. I'm trying to think, was there anything else that's not been explained yet? Well, I already know about Sunspot buying uh, AIM. That happened in Avengers World during Time Runs Out, during uh, before Time Runs Out storyline. Yeah, that, ha that was explained before the 8-month jump, so I get that. Let me think. Was there anything else? Hmm. Oh. Uh, when did Black Bolt open up his own nightclub? When the heck did he do that? Yeah, that actually is a good question. He has a nightclub called The Quiet Room, which I'm thinking, though, The Quiet Room? Wasn't that from... Uh, in humans at the land rising miniseries and it wasn't a bar actually owned by black bolt and yet they actually brought that in of how it, yeah that, that's actually another thing that's not really explained yet uh of when the heck did black bolt get time to start up this nightclub i mean i get the fact he's rich because he's a king okay fine but when the heck did he start up this nightclub yeah that by far has never been explained yet. I'm trying to think though, was there anything else that's not been explained yet? Hmm. Let me think though. Oh, there's an obvious question. Where the heck is Ian Rogers? Why hasn't anybody asked about him? Because the guy's been missing since before Secret Wars. I mean yeah he did show up in the Hell Hydra miniseries. But that was the last time anybody saw him. I mean Nobody has mentioned him at all. Not even his adoptive father, Steve Rogers, has brought him up at all. Not even Arna frickin' Zola. Um, apparently, Ian Rogers has completely disappeared. No one has actually given a proper explanation of where the heck he is. Um, also, there's kind of another one. Um, when the heck did D-Man get, get brought back? Because... At the start of Sam Wilson, Captain America, here's D-Man, apparently live and well, even though he was killed off in Brubaker's run by Sharon Carter. And then in Captain America, Steve Rogers, uh, he did a uh, next message and did another thing that Brubaker did, which was turning uh, Sin into the female Red Skull. He did that with the Kobach character. Um... Another question that I don't think anybody's even bothered to ask. When the heck did S.H.I.E.L.D. take the time to sit up Pleasant Hill? I mean, the place has been explained enough as exact... Now, what question I like to ask is... When the heck did S.H.I.E.L.D. start up this thing? And why keep it a secret for so long? Yeah. That is an obvious one. Um... Trying to think though. I mean, I get the fact that maybe sometimes you can't have everything explained. But can we please finally someday get explanation of why Daredevil's NT is a secret again? And and why uh, Tony Stark has heard about the good. Maybe Bendis can explain that in an annual whenever he finally gets a chance to do one. He has done an annual in the past. He did that for New Avengers. As a matter of fact, he's done three annuals for New Avengers. I'm kind of surprised that he's not, he hasn't done the annual for Vince Meyer. Maybe he can work with uh, Tom Taylor to actually give an explanation of how he turned back, how he turned from evil to good again. Maybe. And maybe Shoal can also kind of do it with Daredevil where uh, he can explain how. Daredevil's identity becomes secret again. I mean, some things can be explained with a simple annual, uh, and there's some things that can be explained with a weekly series. 
like some people have been thinking that maybe Marvel should start up their own version of 52. You know, uh, let me think. I think it's like 32, I think it is. Yeah, 32, which is like 32 weeks. That's how long eight months is, 32 weeks. Um, do I think this might happen? Do you think this is what people want to happen? Oh, heck yes. Uh, I think this weekly series would work. Uh, it would give an explanation of what the heck happened during the eight-month jump. Um, would Marvel do it? Who the heck knows? But come on, Marvel. Can you please give some explanations for all these questions? Like, actually answer these questions? The only thing that's an answer for Daredevil is uh, that Kristen McDuffie, his girlfriend from the Mark Wade, apparently broke up with him for some reason. Yeah. As for why she broke up with him, never explained. Maybe show in the next arc, maybe he can explore that. Well, in the case of Iron Man, I don't think that Bendis is going to explore that right now with with uh, how how Tony's are referring to good to bad, uh, excuse me, bad, bad to good. Um, my hoping is an annual. A lot of these books really just need uh, an annual to, to pretty much uh, explain of what happened during eight months, or at least an arc of the series, because or at least an issue to kind of explain what happened. Because the only ones that actually done this so far where they've actually tried to explain stuff. Uh, Can the Avengers did with two-parter. Uh, Ultimates did it with standalone issue. Um, and of course, Gwen Pulse debut in the backup feature for Howard the Duck. I mean, there's some stuff shown here and there in flashbacks. Fine. I don't have a problem with showing flashbacks. Can we please get an explanation for everything else that I've asked? Um, it's not exactly a big rant per se, but I think there's a lot of questions. I mean, if if anybody else has any questions, Marvel has not answered yet relating to the 8 Mon Shop, please list them off in the comments below. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, of course, comment, obviously. And like this video. Uh, Tivia, Edgar, if you want to do uh, your own video response to this, go right ahead. Or if anybody in Awesome Universe, I'm part of Awesome Universe, by the way, uh, if any of you guys want to do a video like this relating to the 8 month jump, go right ahead. Um, yeah. So, uh, that's it. Next video, Comic Corner Classics, that's non-classics, okay? But until then, I will see you there. Bye.